For this lesson, we're going to be looking at side length relationships in a triangle. We're going to recognize when a triangle can be formed. So the very important point to remember is we're going to add the two shorter lengths given, and that sum must be greater than the longest side that's given. So let's look at the directions. Do the lengths form a triangle. So we're going to say yes or no for our answer. So I'm going to take my two shorter lengths, and I'm going to say 7 plus 10, and that must be greater than the longest side that's given, the 12. Well, we know that 17 is greater than 12, so the answer is yes. These sides would actually form a triangle. Let's look at the number 2. We have 14 meters, 12 meters, and 26 meters. So these are my two smaller numbers, so I'm gonna add them together. And they must be greater than 26 in order to form a triangle. And we actually get a 26, and that I'm putting that greater than symbol, is this true? And that is not, it's equal to. So this would not form a triangle. And for the last one, you take your two shorter lengths. So six plus two is eight. So is eight greater than the longest side that is given, 12? We know that is not true. So this answer is no also. The only one that would actually form a triangle would be number one. So the second set of directions, the lengths of two sides of a triangle are given. Determine the two lengths the third side must be between. So when we say between, we're going to have our x, and now we're going to find the smallest number it could be, and we're going to find the largest number that it can be. So to find the smallest number, it's just a little subtraction problem. 20 minus 18 and we know that is two, so we're gonna put the two there. And this is my brain thinking about the problem. This is gonna be our answer right here. And now to find the larger side, we're gonna add 20 plus 18, and that is 38. Again, thinking about that problem. So the answer to this question is actually X will be between two, and 38, any numbers in between. All right, let's look at the next one. Well, I have a 25 and a 25. So again, I know that I'm going to have an inequality because X is gonna be between these. So 25 minus 25 is a zero. So we know that X has to be greater than zero. Well, in order to draw a triangle, you know that once that would have to be greater than zero. And now we're just going to add 25 plus 25, and we get 50. So we know that the third side for this answer must be somewhere between zero and 50. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.